John here guys, it's today we're talking about the Torque FPV Hornet HD. The largest hornet in the world is the Asian Giant Hornet or Asian Predator Wasp. Frame in a full buildup with these new version of the Mamba Toka Motors. Uh, this is an exciting build. I've seen this for a while. Ferrati, of course, beat me to the punch, and I've been meaning to check it out. This is a design by Calvin Quoost, 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 um, and he is one of the leaders in FPV and having his chapter down in Louisiana run a lot of DJI racing. So, of course, he has come up with probably the most creative and nice solution for a three inch racer that holds a DJI FPV system. This really accomplishes everything that I wanted to do when I cram a Nebula Nano into the Armitan Tadpole three inch build, but that camera is just pure garbage. So it really took all the fun out of it. This version, the Hornet HD is a little bit larger of a footprint overall, but this three inch can hold the full DJI Cadex Vista camera unit. Now here I'm actually using the Nebula Pro. Let's go along the build. This Nebula Pro camera fits perfectly. You know, remember it's only one millimeter smaller than the DJI camera. The Vista video transmitter unit itself actually bolts to the top plate here and then you have your whoop board on the bottom. This is the Diatone V2 25 amp version whoop board and although they look like they're resting on each other, on each other they're not. The whoop board is mounted to the bottom plate and the Visa to the top plate. So there's no chance of them really knocking themselves around in a hard crash. Now this is really designed for kind of a 1404 motor um, setup, but I like taller motors. I'm used to like uh, that power curve that comes with a taller motor. I want a little bit more of that top end. So I used these outrageously powerful Toka 1206 motors this is the 4500 kV version. Now, if you watch my review of the Diatone L3, that larger three inch freestyle version actually used the same motors and I noted how like overpowered that thing was. But for racing formula, what I thought I might do, and I've done this in the past, is I've gotten a really super powerful 4S motor and just run it on 3S. That gives me a little bit more control, a little bit more fine stick movement to be able to navigate around a race course perfectly and gives me the efficiency I need to be able to make right at two, two and a half minutes. Um, so this is a perfect formula. I'm using a Tattoo 450 milliamp 3S pack, but I would really recommend using a 3S 650 pack. And I love that I have the headroom that if I actually just wanted to go balls to the wall speed, I could easily plug in a 4S pack and get that extra ludicrous speed on tap. The other really cool innovation about this frame is that the strap is printed out of TPU and it just attaches to the top plate. So it doesn't actually have to go around anything. There's no Velcro, that tearing sound. My goodness, I love this. So you can print your own. He actually also put the files up on Thingiverse. So if you ever needed a replacement, I reprinted one of these camera holders in red to kind of match the reddish orange accents of these beautiful Togo motors. Um, the Toka motors, uh, let's talk about those for a second. There's some really cool innovations going on in this motor. First, the really nice polished bell design uh, is really strikingly handsome with the little accents on the inside of each motor fin at the top. The second is there is a plastic covering covering the windings, especially on these micro motors. You don't really always know. There's not a lot of consistency in the plates or the arms. So it's really hard for them to kind of guess what size motor you're going to be using or what size arm you're going to be using and not have those screws touch the windings, which can ruin your motor. By having that plastic protection there, you won't ever run into that problem. And look at the screws that they're using on the top. These finely crafted metal accents. It just makes for a nice, nicer, more polished finished product, which is the perfect accoutrement to this 
excellent racing style design. Now you will see that I have some TPU arm guards. I designed those. I'll leave the link for those of you who want to download those yourself as well. Uh, I just like a little bit more motor protection. That's probably my only gripe of the frame is that the arms don't really stick out very far. You don't get a lot of motor protection. That's another reason why I went with a 1206 motor because it is taller and it sticks out less. So you get a little bit less chance of bumping those motors. A 1404 would stick out even further, but by doing this and designing this arm guard, I have a more comfortable level of motor protection. You can have that for free. I am using a Crossfire Nano Receiver in here with the FPV Cycle Mini Immortal T antenna on the arm. This does not have full range for Crossfire, but for a racing little park flyer, I'm not going to need full range, and I really like the weight savings that I can get along with this. Look at this single standoff in the back, kind of reminiscent to that original Floss design where there's only one standoff in the back. That's one of the reasons they can get the weight of this with all the TPU down to 19 grams. What an excellent 35 dollar inexpensive hd racing park flying frame um this is just fantastic i love that they actually take the time to give you a perfectly angled um, vista antenna holder right there everything just goes together so quickly i got this build up in record time in fact i think it had it done like just over an hour after the package arrived i'm so excited to get this thing um, so if you want an easy build that's thought of everything, you know how long it took me to build that Tadpole 3 inch? You know how long it took me to build that massive Droner original version, two and a half inch, and just stuff that Vista in there? You know, half of the time rearranging everything to get it to fit is what takes you the longest. I was able to get this up building in record time because all of the thought process of how to fit it together was already done for me by torque fpv nice job on this guys are you park flying three inch little dji things like this it's unbelievable how quiet this thing is and stay tuned because i actually took this on a track and flew it now i could not match my five inch speeds with this thing um, i was getting about 10 seconds a lot slower but if everybody was flying these you would really have a really cool type of a spec racing thing what do you think in the comments, guys? Are you park flying, racing, building these nice little three inches? There's not a lot of three inch ready racing style setups um, for DJI at the moment. So what do you think? Thanks, guys.